Hello, today's video is part two of our three-part series showing you how to grow a wildflower meadow in your garden. Today John's planting perennial wildflower bulbs chosen for their structure and also that they're great naturalizers which means they'll keep blooming for you year on year. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now. And on this channel, we hope to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and are looking for basic foundations on propagation, growing vegetables, a bit of pest control, or whether you're a seasoned horty, could always use some extra tips and advice. If you like learning those things, do consider following us by pushing the subscribe button. There's no charge. And don't forget to push the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Hello again. Uh, we're back at the wildflower beds that we're trying to get together. If you remember the last time we were here, we took the tops, the top turf off to reduce the uh, nutrition and also to get rid of all the rye grass and hopefully the rye grass seed which is in the top bit. Uh, we've not had a lot come through so we, we assume there's not a tremendous amount of seed there. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, carry on with the wildflower meadow. Now before I sow it, I'm going to put some bulbs in. The bulbs will be quite deep so that they'll be right down there and the sowing on top of them shouldn't affect them at all. But I've got to put them in now and um, I've actually gone for three different sorts of, um, of, of bulbous plants. The first ones are uh, camasias. These are the quite big bulbs and some of them are actually starting to uh, send out their roots already so it's time they got in. So I'm going to uh, put those in. We're also going to have some of these um, little daffodils, which are very, very similar to the wild daffodils. Um, uh, Wilma, they're called. And then around the wall, we'll have some little alliums, um, these tiny little bulbs, which uh, will go in as well. Now, obviously, I want them all to go together. Um, I'm going to try and get the taller ones at the back a bit and, and ease it on down. So I'll, I'll be putting the camasias in first. And the way we naturalise bulbs is to gently drop them on the ground and let them land. If you do like that, and then you can put them where they land, um, it will look very natural, far more natural than if you try to, uh, to, to, to space them out. So I'm just scattering them and they'll go in exactly uh, where, where, they, where they fell. So I'm putting those towards the back when the front won't hurt. Then I'm going to bring the, the, the daffodils through and they'll be going, again, I'll let them, let them interact a bit. Wherever they fall doesn't really matter because that, that'll look rather, rather natural. So in go the daffodils. There we are, just scatter them around. And we can put some, the, the, the alliums then are coming in with them. And I'll put the alliums really more up the front here where they're smaller. An odd daffodil won't hurt at all. And then we've got them really quite nicely scattered around. And hopefully they will look rather nice coming up through the grass uh, when, we're, when we're finished. So there we are, scattered them around a bit, even a bit back there. Now I've just got to plant them. <laughs> um, the the camasias have to go in quite deep, they've got to go in about four inches. Um, Daffodils not quite so much, but it's much better to put them in deeper than, than too shallow. So um, time to get the get the trowel and get on with the digging. When we come to planting bulbs, um, the traditional way of course is with a with a, a trowel, and often the trowel will have a, a marking on you so you know how how deep in the soil to go. Um, but now we have these bulb planters, um, which uh, Again, they've got the depth, unfortunately, that's in centimetres, which is not really um, ideal. But this older one has got them in, in inches, which is uh, another way of doing it. We'll need, the, we'll need to get this one four, inch, four, four inches for the um, camasias. So let's uh, make, a, make a hole here and get, get this camasia in. Take it away. There's a the hub position we had it in. Work my way down a bit. Much easier than using a spade, this is, isn't it? That's quite nice. 
nice and deep there it comes out in goes the commercia nice depth down there and then we just push this one actually get the plug out there we are plug comes out and that goes back on there the, d the daffodils don't need to be quite so deep um, probably about three times their depth so I'm going to just use this one and see whether we can get it but these all these stones it's not so easy the good thing is the stones give you the drainage which bulbs want oh yeah we're working our way in there I can get down to my required depth I can shove the bulb in down there and I can just twig, twig that one and it all falls out again so that's pretty good isn't it so that's a daffodil let's show you how to do a um, little allium these, these are much much smaller that those two have landed together so they're going to go in the same hole so we'll take those out there find them down we go again there we are nice nice depth lift that out oh it's all fallen in all right we've got the depth again there put those two separate them up there we are done and now i've just got to work move around and plant the whole lot <laughs> well that's all for today thank you so much for joining us here in somerset next week's video john will be showing you how to sow the fine grasses if you enjoyed that and would like to follow us do push the subscribe button don't forget to push the all-important notification bell just lets you know every time we upload a new video until next time